Linda. Parmi nous. She good in bed. Ah. Um, nandi, um, nandi. I, said, I, said, I said, I said, I said one question. I'm done. That's the one you should have asked. Man. Nandi, the nandi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to it. It's our second interview, celeb interview of the year. And this guy's not even a celeb, bro. This guy's a fucking legend. Yeah, ah, legend man. in the house. What's a celeb? Ah, 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 yeah. Please yeah, welcome I'll, I'll Zakele Madida. Siabong. AKA Zex Bantuini. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's days like these, so that I really appreciate having a podcast. Because if it was just a na- random day, I would never get to chill with Ziggs like this. Yeah, <laughs> so you just see backstage in the gig, he's rushing into another gig. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, I'm like, hey, Ziggs, I love your work. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, man. How you hey, been, happy. I'm good, man. I'm good. Good to good to be here, man. Like yeah. I'm really, I'm really happy to be here, man. I, I see you're doing well, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, I saw you with my wife this other day. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your wife, what a beautiful yeah, soul, I'm man. Like, Yo, you know what's my favorite interview last year? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Her energy. Yeah, yeah. Still, that's one thing that they don't know about her, man. She's just, she's, uh, she's, a, she's a, she's a ball of energy. I don't know. You chose well, eh? Yeah, yeah. I chose early. Yeah. And did she tell you I was sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the interview. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. listen, the reason why I started with saying you are Zakele Matita. Yes. Because I'm hoping by the end of this interview, we get to know more about Zakele. Yes. Zex, fuck Zex. We don't want to know about Zex today. Yeah. And the reason why I say that, because when I watch like your interviews and I just see how you carry yourself. Yeah. There's a lot of knowledge in here, man. That I think. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, bro. Okay. Like when I hear you talk, I'm like, fuck, I want to hear this guy talk more. Yeah. Is there a book? Is there a podcast where I can listen? Mm, yeah. Because, like, dude, the stuff that you're talking is facts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I try. I try. I try for it, for every interview to just share whatever that I, I, I know. Because I think as artists, as, as, as entertainers, we have to change a perception, you know? And, and it's not going to start or by someone else. It's not going to start by an engineer or a politician or a doctor to say, take artists and, and musicians and actors seriously. I think it's us which people are going to do that, you know, by just the way we carry ourselves for every interview, we just try and make sure that we change that particular perception. It's, this is the reason why I always talk about school, mm. you know, because most people who are in, a, in, in my industry don't talk about school. Actually, they will break about dropping out of school. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 and then, and then, then they will say, "Being, uh, you don't need school to be where I am," and I'll come and be like, "You'll be different though if you had school." <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, you'd uh, own those masters, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not only the masters, you'll own the publishing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so, 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 so that's the reason. Go to you will always because my my mother, my mother was a teacher, and she always said that if you wanna be different than the next guy study mm. you know because we, we both can be talented yeah you know what i mean but w- but if if i've studied i have that particular edge because there are so, some some doors where you will not be able to walk in with just talent they'll be like yo are you are you qualified to be here no you are just talent okay stay here dead qualified people talk about this mm. and Ouch. then you're gonna get your sh- you're, go- you're gonna get your share so because mm. now how many how many artists in south africa who get on stage and an artist but can work for a major 
because mm. when you're a major, when you go to major, they want to have if you have a diploma, a degree, or a sub or a, a yes, particular yes, yeah, yes, qualification. Yes. Just to walk I'll, into the door. Exactly. So mm. I was able to do that because I I, I studied and I have I, I have a qualification. So that's and why. And you talented. Yeah. So I was able to move from front front stage, and go to the boardroom, which mm. maybe some of the artists won't be able to do that. You know. So I always tell people that you have a different story if they if if they've managed to. If they may manage to uh, to to be a success, mm. you know, without going to school, that might not be your story. So don't listen to them; it's a trap. Fair. Don't let them tell you that going to school is a waste of time. It's a trap because they they didn't tell you that when they were not successful. Mm. Before we talk about the school, yeah. man, uh, your journey starts 26 of May 1981, Kwamashu. Yes. What is it about Kwamashu, man? What what are you guys drinking there? Because everybody that comes out from there is destined for greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, she. Hey, what's the yeah, secret man. there, boy? No, man. I think I think Umashu is because of. Um, I think it's so weird. So it's because of so far town. Mm. So Umkumbane Umashu is because of Umkumbane. Like Olanga, it's because of District Six in Cape Town. Okay. So okay. all of these are my, my, my locations that yeah. we created. So I think maybe uh, so many so many you know people about about old in there. I'm about to I need salaga mash, salaga mash. Yeah, but and maybe and I think a lot of and, and a lot of things may be created. But I think about DJ, about the basketball shoot. But that's cool. It was rough, lah, fancy. Ne. Yeah, no, it was it was at the time when I grew up. I mean. I mean, I'm a, I'm a this type of guy who says, uh, like, you'll see dead bodies going to school. And you, you, uh, of course. Of course. Of course. Yo. Yeah. I mean, I remember this one, well, this one friend of my cousin, as I'm born a, 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 at the passages we are called, and so I mean, 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 I and we still went to school, studied, and then went back. And then this other time also, at Lali Paul, and then someone, ah, bam, shy, bam, shy, bam, shy, And this was the just a normal day. It was just a normal day. So we, we grew up during those particular times. About gunmen, I mean, people would die for a kangol. You remember my kangol when it used to be like, yeah. like kangol, yeah. kangol caps? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then you, you'll you be, you'll be, yeah, you'll die for that. And at know? that time, who was like famous that had come out from Kwamashi that everybody wanted to be? Uh, it was uh, Mbongeni Ngema. Mbongeni Ngema. Yeah, it's Mbongeni Ngema. I think yeah, and uh, and and Osis uh, May from Ustuma. I don't. She was not from Guamash. I think she was from Umlas or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But the thing for us was it was Umbongeni game, and then everybody else here was going to tax here. You know, like a machita who 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 had money. Ababe kwa gashe we either gunmen's or or bashai kati. So those are those are people they all were born in this people are like I, I wanna be like, like those particular guys. So anything you get a better, then you'll see it on TV. Mm. Oh, it's, oh, okay, you know. Oh, all right. Like 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 Mina, I saw my life on television. I know we do, we don't talk about we don't talk about this guy now on 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 on, on public platforms, but mm. I think it's my story. Mm. Mina, I R Kelly really, I, I, I always say, yo, this guy really is like shit. I know, that's why you bought the jeeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I want to live like this guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> you remember this song? You remind me of my jeeps, yeah. and big houses, you know. And out he picked his cell phone. I'm like, yo, I'm from Pilaranje, You know, so shoot, I, I have to be a musician yeah. for me to live this life. Because it's all you see. Because it's all I see. Mm. I mean, it's only the only thing that I said. Yeah, so that, that's exactly what I did. So they know my wife, I'm a school day. How so I went to study uh, to study music. How do you end up at the? I'm, I'm getting this wrong, but the Msenga Mtenga riots. How do you end up there? Because you were there. Mrs. Right? Mtenga. Mrs. Mtenga. Right. Yeah. No, I wasn't really. I was very young, but uh, I think he, uh, I I remember them. Goba, um, Sasi Sekaya, and uh, and ama ama abantu ababe ba kuli langada soskati. Yeah. And also my umamganuam. English, he be the bonga band to auntie. So, mm. I, so my mm. man, like cut that You know, now nah, she was very involved in in the struggle. My man's anele. So, now my babu ya kusenga kubola je babu ya betela man's because basha we tear gas and all these things. So that's how close I saw it. I mean, through la banda babu hamba se muto se abanye ba tasha bangene ka bangene makamere ngoba se kona ma hipo abamba band and all those things. So I wasn't really part of. I was but part of that, but I saw because because kuna banta about about Ashika kuna manzi je I I tattoo kaya asirea so manza banda because at least now we had a fridge so so ukoko it wasn't a fridge so at least now 
Lamanza no I say I call it Kaya, so people would could use that. Did you have any so interaction with, with white people? Like, did you have a white friend? No, not you at all. No, not at all. Ah, you boom. Now I'm going to scratch this call. I mean, I'm going to find a shy more, yeah. I'm going to find a bullshit. I'm going to find a bullshit. I'm going to find a ketamash. I'm going to find a Zul. That's my story. Then I went to Technical Nata. Then then uh, then I, I went to University of Kwazulu Nata. Then I went to business. to got an institute of business science here. Now I'm going to Harvard. Yeah, fuck So that's no, my that's, story. That's big, man. <laughs> yeah. Harvard. Yeah. How do you I apply? I got my for it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you apply for Harvard? How do you, yeah. what's the process? Because I know the course you're doing, it, it only takes like 50 people. Yeah. So, Shit. dude. Yeah, you, you apply, you motivate. You motivate why, why you want to do the course. And then they take your, your, your motivation, probably they look, and they're like, are you, are you going to be, are you going to be a contributor to, to to the program you mm. know because i mean it's the rest of the world yeah well so I, I i don't know how many people apply for that but i'm sure it's a lot and so, then and then you get and then you so it's not automatic it's not like i can i can i can just apply and i can be accepted no it's like you 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 have to your company needs to at least have a certain amount of money that uh per annum the certain bottom line okay you should have been at least an executive Somewhere, somewhere, mm. for at least a certain, uh, you should at least uh, have instead of like, because they ask you about the organogram of your company, like how many people report under you, if you report to somebody, and mm. all of those things. So it's quite an intent um, the questionnaire, and uh, and you have to answer that, and then you have to motivate why you want to do the program. Why do you want to do the program? That's a good question. I want. I want to have a company that you can scale up and, and, and be responsible for the biggest names in, in, in the world, hmm. but still in Africa. Shit. You know? Um, and uh, I've just converted my company from a production company to an agency. Hmm. And for us, we really want to be responsible for talent, not only musicians, you know? Athletes, writers, uh, not only not only music, music, uh, podcasters, po- pod- yeah, everybody, podcasters, we all face the same content, struggles, yeah, man. content creators, boxers, if they are, you know, um, actors, like everybody in, within our, even journalists, we wanna wanna be able to represent some of some some of the people uh-huh. who, are, who are like journalists. So, I think for me was, if if one day we would like to tell a story from how we consumed America, for instance, mm, mm. you know, we wanna tell that particular story. And it would be it would be it would be amazing for us to to negotiate with the government of the U.S. on behalf of content from Africa who want to tell the story of the U.S. And if that particular person is represented by us, then it's all good, man. Because at least we'll be telling the story of America from how as South African and Africans are looking at it. And Elon Musk, is this you? To, to, no, <laughs> 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 you know. So it'd be great. Yeah, but, yeah. So so it's that. So we. We we wanna scale, but even also when it's when it comes to music, also, you know, when 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 it's, when it comes to music, it's I mean it's something that I I always wanted. It's the reason why I even joined Sony, and it's my struggle, you know, it's my fight my fight at Sony were around the fact that we needed to have an African superstar, Oshale Soweto, Oshale Pretoria, Oshale Wamash. You, you don't have to be in America. Yeah. Or you don't have... I mean, it's the same thing that we did in South Africa. So I was like, I want to do it bigger because we refused to come and live in Johannesburg. I was like, El Volvo, you're not going anywhere. Mm. We are going to do this thing in Durban. Durban. And today we have a fully fleshed entertainment industry in Durban. Which you were best. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which I was right at the front line, you know. And the thing is, people don't work. understand when we go over to America, they don't like us. Yeah, man. I go go to food like that in like I yeah you know but I think we 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 are not just the IPR away America yo yeah yeah because it's think, all we know America yeah. for us is you are Kelly <laughs> yeah 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 so I would say PR in America yo we see about we sometimes PR go see where the robots in Jomont New York they will enjoy robots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yo, hey New York, you know. But but that particular person doesn't say that it's empty. That's yeah, empty. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, we like the robot. You know what I mean? Shit. Yeah. Is it true you taught yourself English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kidding me, bro? Yeah, man. My uncle for this music is Zulu. So I'm a self I'm a self taught English speaking. How do you even do that? And why do you even want to learn English? 
I mean, it was because I wanted to communicate, and I understood. I understood that the business, the business language is 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 English in South Africa, mm. so you needed to learn. Mm. It's, it's, you know, I, and I always say this, Uguti. Like, take for instance, if we are to fish, ne, and the monkey, <laughs> we beg uh, uh, next to the to the tree, and ask both of them to climb. Mm. You know, a monkey will die thinking go to fishy is stupid. Mm. And you take the same scenario, you take them to um, the sea mm. and mm. you ask them to swim. Mm. The fish will die thinking that a, a monkey is, is, is stupid. So what does that tell you? It's, you know, you excel in your own particular environment. Mm. You know what I mean? So mm. it, in South Africa, in, in English, it has to abandon uh, by by attachaga kulu Intelligence. Your intelligence. Mm. You know, mm. so there are some people from Elokshin who are even unable to think that they are but smart mm. because they are playing in an environment where it demands good English, mm. English and they are not and then they are, they are unable to express themselves that that way. Mm. Then the corporate things that love and but by Islam, mm. Twitter things that too, mm. Facebook thing that's too because immediately they they start writing something trying to communicate with other ah English English you know what I mean mm. so. So even forgetting what you are even saying. Yeah, yeah. You know, because they are playing in an environment in which, you know, um they are unable to excel. Mm. You know what I mean? So 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 you need to learn, you know, um for you to be able to to, to understand the e to understand the e platform again. Now for so for instance, if you touch to fish, like I said earlier on, when you when but u fish now, nowadays in this particular environment and where we live, it can be able now to to climb the tree. Yes, mm. through how? Because it can pay the monkey. Hmm. You know? Yeah. Would, no, I mean, please, just make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm climbing the tree. Yeah. And then me, that, is the, that particular fish is on top of the tree. Guess what it, what it, will, it will do? It will tell other fish that they need, they need to work hard to climb. <laughs> 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 living salt up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but, no, I should have paid. I paid my way up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the fish one said, no, I paid my way up here. Yeah. I'm like, no, you need to work hard, you know. Mm. You know, concentrate and work hard. I'm like, come on, you did not work hard. You bribed your way up. And you cannot tell, and you cannot tell us that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so this is, this scenario is, it's what is happening right now. There are so many people who are in different positions Abazi youth bawa to lega njalo position, but they are making us believe what they are there because of our merits. Mm. But they know what about abafiga ngala because of their own merits, you know. So I wanna go back to when you study music apart from um, um, R Kelly, what else made you wanna? Because I feel like what I'm gathering is that um, you had a lot to say, you know, yeah. and you wanted to put a message out there, uh, but obviously you're not a politician. Of and course. the next best thing was music. Of course. Not you know, not really, really, really. I think I mean I wanted to just live a better life. Mm. I don't wanna lie and be like, <laughs> and <go>. yeah. <laughs> like, like honest part that this is an honest podcast, right? yeah. I wanted to live a better life. I knew that life is mm. like you know, a life of unable to look the TV the way I want to watch it. Exactly. Because I bet you you know, pale. Mm. You know, or 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 sometimes we have to choose because my grandmother, bafunu bugi zindaba. But if it now, it's like it's like ngani. Yabo so na sebera choose good. Aye ngai gusto mo magdala ma et. Then for that thing, we calculate to to kaya ma et. Say pale and then on. I do not want to live that life. And there's Emmanuel. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So I also did not. That's not my story. <laughs> <laughs> that is yours. <laughs> Anyways, you know, and also the, the life of Guti, when Maui is Kolweni, you know, like there are two slices of bread. So you have to choose if you are eating them both, exchange, or you want to eat one. And risk you good mau boy, you can't even get the car out and ask a seizure. You know what I mean? <laughs> and in the car, also, we are not trying to go to fish to go to. Because the principle that says, mm. yeah. So you have to take that risk. So what am I doing? So we share the two slices. So I'm going to go But my food, my boy, boy, two slices are kids. You can't complain because it's a cow. Mm. You see those particular dynamics. Mm. And I knew that I didn't want to live this life, man. Mm. Of calculating and all those things. I wanted to live a better life. Mm. And I saw a big house and a car and a better life through a music video. Mm. You know? So, okay. So music and entertainment is what will bring 
bring about this. So I started as a dancer. So I, I was a very good dancer. So I I then traveled. I lived in, in, in France for six months. Yeah, Paris. Yeah, in Paris for ni- in 1999. And, uh, and I was doing, uh, you know, contemporary dance. Like I did almost every dance. Is that the first time overseas? Wow. It was, yeah. yeah. So I did almost every dance genre except I- ballroom. Oh, so okay. ba- ballet, contemporary, contemporary, uh, gamboots. I even uh, I even choreographed gamboots dance. So and all of those things, so I, I knew. And I, I think I got bored mm. with that after traveling so, so many countries. I got bored because I think my choreographer then knocked the love of dance and theater off my system. Mm. Because I remember this time before we started our show, um, we had thirty days of uh, of um Siri has a show as it is, maybe it's a dry run. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just performing for mm, him mm, alone, mm, but mm. fully costumed and everything else. For 30 days, the guy said, my show is one hour, 30 minutes. Once one hour, one hour, 31 minutes, he's on, he's on us. Once it's one hour, 20 minutes, he's on us. Mm. You know, and then he'll say like, but the energy is like banana. You know, it's like you, 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 he's a French guy. You, yeah. you, you the like banana, you, you're the like banana. You know, you're not tough. You know, I'm going to send you back to South Africa, but you don't want to be here, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that guy was Jean Francois and I love him, you know, because, because I think and after that, you know, he made me a, 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 um, a baby with a top of because at that time, top was the president of South Africa. Yeah. So he, I was a, a team leader for the group but it was so tough mm. but also how hard one was working i still people t- still did not know what i was doing i was like no man i mean i'm thinking why is it man <laughs> like i worked so hard like nobody knows <laughs> what I, the shit i'm doing i was in like 34 countries like nobody knows they look yeah. hey look she nah come on nah. i want um, music to, uh, this one yeah. like, oh, when some music i was yeah. like hey, what else yeah music yeah yeah so yeah very little like cheap and if you know yeah well then i went to study music so study music what made you because i don't think you've ever been signed and most guys yeah go that route first they get signed then they realize i yeah. don't do it you know, let me start my own label yeah is it because you, you've always wanted to maximize the financial aspect of it yeah yeah i think i think so man like i remember this one time um, a guy was from this production in a school and his name is Bruce. Bruce asked us a question this one time, Mati. So, um, who do you wanna who do you who do you wanna be like, you know, uh, after after your qualification after school? I remember that year, David Beckham has just signed the biggest transfer uh, to from Madrid to Madrid. Yeah, from Manchester. You know, I remember saying to Bruce, because everybody was they're talking music, music. I was like. I want to be the guy who signed, who just signed uh, um, David co- David Beckham's. I want to be the guy who signed David Beckham's uh, check. Seriously? I want to be that yeah. guy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I want I want to be that guy. Because yeah. if you sign, you see, Mike I cannot sign a thousand rand if you know if you know two thousand. Mm. But I'll sign a thousand if I have a million. Exactly. So for me, I was like, if the guy can sign such an amount of how money much? for Beckham, how much money he has? Yeah. I want to be that guy. Wow. You know how, what I mean? How close are you to being that guy? I'm f- f- it's fair. Well, we're yeah, I no, no, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's relative. <laughs> it's relative. Yeah. But basically, th- that, that was it. And the goal. Yeah, that, that was the goal. So I knew back then, so Luguti, I needed to, I, I, uh, for you to be able to, to have anything that you want, you want, you, you always have to monetize your creativity. Mm. And for you to be able to monetize your creativity, you have to own your creativity. Mm. You know what I mean? Ownership. So, so ownership. Then, so I knew after finishing school, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to open my company. And I told people, because Mina, I, I still study jazz, so I play piano and I play bass. Um, so, excuse me. Um, so this one time, because it's called you know, like the, the guys who wanted to be like jazz musicians, like and we're great jazz great, eh? Is this when you meet Black Coffee, ne? Yeah, so we met we met at school with, with short uh, and demo, you know. So it was so much it away home with Gany or the piano. And I mean, I knew I mean, I don't want to be this. I mean, I'm to hey, this one is a pianist. I knew <laughs> minute I wanted to have a, a, the biggest record company, like mm. I knew. So this one time, you know. 
being upset and you're over the fact that Balo Gebet Komarat is on sign and on You know what I mean? Like Nam Gita Suga and stuff. But I signed, I signed three. Yeah. Whoa. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so. Then I opened my record company. So then, then, yeah. If we, which is something that I always say: good to people should not hide, because mm. abanda banning by feet alone. You know, somebody has to open the door mm. for you. Mm. Somebody may not open the door for me, and that mm. that guy is the late Mark Masangwan. If Mark Masangwan did not open that particular door, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mm. You Who's know. That? Is a is a former marketing marketing uh, manager. Yes, a CCP. Okay. He didn't know me. Mm. He just took a liking to me. He gave me an opportunity. Mm. He said to me, "Give me an album." I gave him Elvovo's album. Wow. And he and he was like, "Cause Elvovo was your first artist." Was you said? my first artist. Yeah. yeah. yeah how do you yeah. find how do you find Elvovo? It's called Wayne. So I was SRC funny enough. So I was Sasco when I was go, when I was called in Montessa Sandy Politic. And um, so I have a huge a, a, a political appetite, like huge, but I would never do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, and then El Volvo was an SRC after me, you okay. know? Yeah. So it's, it's called in, then we'll, 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 we'll do events and do it. other things because we just partnered with another organization. It's just called in a, a Vula businesses you know so to popularize that business was my my company also my own production i opened i opened it at school in school and so we had an enterprise an enterprise division where which you can go then open your own company mm. you know so so we we're doing that stuff and i would see elvovo man like people loves elvovo i think they still do yeah. like yeah. elvovo we are tasula we ngang aso ngang tasula tasu pate o was tasula elvovo wan swa ngena la aga tasula eke o tasuke elvovo bakangeko ama se se figile so so i knew that I, the way i like I like him mm. and people are going to like this guy like mm. you know and um so I then I I then said Joe let's us let us let us Which, do let us do this thing and he didn't want to because he wanted to be an MC he wanted to be an MC can you believe this like yeah. no I mean I don't want to be a musician because now sometimes so, there's some gigs that I won't be able to do you yeah. know uh, because I did not make it into the nine now I want to be an MC because <laughs> an MC is it, 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 it's in each and every gig. gig I was like no let's do this thing so you know, two, three months, he would run away sometimes as he sees me. Then I wrote uh, Bang Sugela, you yeah. know. Wrote Bang Sugela. You wrote it? Yeah, wrote Bang Sugela. So producer wrote, wrote it, sang, you, you know. You produced it? Yeah, yeah. So, and then, after that, like, I think first of all, I think I produced about 90, 95% of, of, of the songs. So, I didn't so. know that, bro. Yeah. And there's a lot of 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 of, of people who don't know that, you know, because some would say, "Hey, Elvovo's side sidekick, Elvovo's protege." I'm like, I'm the one who's signing checks. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fine because you know, you know, I and I didn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I still don't care right yeah, now. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 so we, so I then I made him listen to Bang Suga, and then he listened to it. I was like, Yo, yo, yeah, she's like, what? Yeah. Just to excite him, you know? It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, let's just go and, and record it tonight. And shout out to the guys called Udasti you know, and the guy called KO, you know, Amachi. They just produce it in a so they got DJ Bongs, you know. So I spoke to yeah, so I spoke to those guys like, yo, guys, please, man. And they gave me the studio for free, yeah, but we had to wait for we had to wait for his own as I get on four AMXA. <laughs> <laughs> they were supposed to finish at twelve. Hey, but I want to go teach you tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm you know. So but that sound, that sound, El Volvo, was it around before Bayang Sugel, or did you come up with that sound? I came up with the sound. You kidding? Yeah. I mean, I can't the the the, the, the name Depp and Quattro Music. Yeah, yeah, it's can't. It's it's it belongs to my company. Even the logo. What? Yeah, Depp and Quattro Music. Yeah, because you why? You trademarked it. Yes. Wow. wow. I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> Anyway, so 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 oh, how how would you even got into that? Because I did not want to shy away from the word quieto. Mm. And Mike was like, no, but this sound any different. Like, but Mike, I so for me I have a problem was we are not we're not aligned, we're not working toward this one big genre. Mm. You know? So there's quieto now, there's gas, now there's baba, then the da 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 you know. So there's we just need to put all these things together. They should they should be one. I just agree. 
if it's quite, it's quite. You know what I mean? Like, so the fact that Konaban, but no, Tina, this is not quite. This is something else. Like naming different names. I'm like, but it defeats the peoples because that we are not contributing to this one big thing. So it's like, but Mark was like, this is different. Though. I was like, okay, in that case, because I don't want to shy away from the word quite, then it's tap and quite music in that case because quite has to be there. You know, because now Seso Ibiza has something else now, and then still. At the summers, there's nothing like there's no mm, gender like this, mm, mm, mm. and we need we it's need only now they putting in yeah a now we need to contribute to what this one big genre, and people can, and and and, and this genre can 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 be interpreted in di- in different ways yes. like hip hop you know like hip hop is hip hop I mean I mean can you imagine as I say something but no this is not hip hop this is something else mm. and then and then and then in New York they're like no but this is not hip this is something I mean can you imagine mm. and also the one in California they're mm. like no this is not hip you know what I mean but all of them they were like yo this is hip hop and this is rap so mm. that's why it's so big because everybody with different T- taste and genres they contributed to this one name hip hop so, so for me if I'm a piano could be called quieto mm. or or, or gom, gom maybe house music and stuff like that it may not be very happy you know like because at least it still contributes to this one jam mm. it's making this jam can you imagine right now how popular quieto would be mm. you know what I mean because yeah. how if, pop- say I'm if, a if I'm a piano they were they were they were quieto Mm. You be like, yo, quieto, you know, old like, now, cause, cause now it's fresh, you know, like it's so fresh, it's so popular. I mean, I mean, I'm a piano so big in Nigeria, which therefore means quieto would be big in Nigeria today. Mm. I'm that kind of guy, man. I, I always wanna be like, yo, but let's not put so differently. Nas, let's just, let's so just work on this one thing, you know. When Big Nas now starts to come with like Umli Lord. That's it's your quite you, you happy? You yeah, like, I'm like yeah, forward. yeah, I'm like yeah. Oh, you're I'm not like, like ah, he's stealing my no, sound. No, 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 no. I think even even Cleo jumped on that kind of on that, that yeah, kind of sound. That's like yeah, it's like yeah. Let's 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 all go, Joe. Mm. And man, it's not only that. Like my album, Love Latin Music, I, arguably is the first album to be performed. Huh. It's a house album, right? But to be performed because all the house albums were were DJ, were DJs, yeah. Mm. You know, compilations, compilations. And now you understand that when I released that album, now I needed to. There was supposed to be a blueprint, and I hate this thing because I always find myself have to be having to be like a guinea pig. Like mm. it's like I have to start this thing, mm. like because I knew Gucci. This is house music. Now, how do you perform house music? Mm. You have. You, you have people, I'm a quite to a perform a backing track. I'm a Afro pop perform a band. How do you perform house music? You know, like you have mm. thinking about how. Then I did was like, start, to perform in, house music. Sorry, man, did it start in Chicago? From yeah, Gaze? yeah, yeah. Gays yeah. used to listen to it in Chicago. Right? Yeah, it was an underground, uh, underground sound. House yes. music. Yes, yeah. house music. So I was like, okay, to, for me, how do you perform house music? Is you, you have to ma- ma- match the two. Mm. You know? Have a backing track and have, and have the the guys like uh, the keys and the percussions play. No one was doing that before you. No one. What? Nobody. And 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 promoters used to hate the fact that now I'm convicting the sound is gonna be now expensive. But mm. that's and now they have to have monitors and da, 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 da. like I'm complicating this thing. Mm. Now. Yeah, I complicate. But right now, also performer without live music, people are at, 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 at. But I lost a lot of gigs because at the, at first people didn't understand. Oh. No, Joe, I just want to go to a picking track guitar. I don't perform a picking track, Joe. Mm. And then if the promoter then isn't willing, we would say, uh, uh, then then they will be like, okay, I'll, I'll get someone else who's going to do this thing. But because I think the demand was, and then then the Mikasas, then the Donuts, then the then 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 the Quick Deep actually first, the like Quick Deep, and everyone else then came through, you know, Black Motion, and then and then everyone, you know. Do you know right I once after. put you at my club in Paparazzi? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you judge me, and I'm in leg. Hey, fuck <laughs> out. Yeah, I know. I don't. I know. I don't come cheap. <laughs> how much? How much? How much? I know. I know. I think no, it was no, like I know. 2010. It was about 20, 35, yeah, somewhere yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, no. It was in private now, I think yeah. 45. But remember the club, it was in the East End. Yes, I yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I like, but when I saw the show, But you made your money. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. When yeah, I saw the show, yeah, I was happy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I know he came through, yeah. fucking killed it. Yeah. It was dope. Yeah. And you're right. And the bottom man. line was cool. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so everybody was happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the first time I heard a track from you, which I didn't know it was you singing, was La 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 La. 
It don't, la, no, it's la, not la, me. La. I, I wrote the song and, and you produced, produced it. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, so the vocals is not you? No, it's not me. Oh. The guy, yeah, it's, it's some guy, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Tell us about Love, Light and Music. How does that come about? Like, how does Juju come so Love Light, So Love, Light and Music. So, um, so we we worked on so we worked on juju, juju so i remember this one time we i was i was i was in studio when we were playing playstation myself and in nati and uh, so you went to studio and then and then i was playing a uh, playstation with tolo you know yeah mm -hmm. tolo what tolo was on his first album we, 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 we so mm -hmm. and then nati calls me in the studio yo zex hey come through da, 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 you know and then and then I get into the studio and I'm like yo what's up? Then he plays me that that the, the instrument. I was like Joe, I have in my head something that says give it to me. <laughs> That's what he has like give it. So we built the song around mm. give it to me. So it had to go. Somewhere so you don't even know what to, it means. Give it to me. No, it was like to me. You have to give it to them. And that's what makes the song. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 Give it. Yeah. What? So oh man, then it's like so then we created created everything else that would resolve in give it to me. You know, you know, yeah. was at the video, and I didn't write, I didn't write the song. Who wrote the song? No, I didn't write it. Oh, yeah, it's 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 recorded. I'm like, okay, I got a woman. Yeah, not okay. Let me say it again because I don't know what to say. I got a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Was because like, also we were coming from the from the from a jazz background, so the mm. is my no not the party it all had it. Yeah, we're like those like were coming from an instrument. Yeah, yeah, and then those music. particular melodies. So we're like, yeah, but we still come from jazz, so we we should have this kind of melodies, you know. Shit, I was saying that I was at the the video that you guys shot at the bank. Yes, that's but the Juju one. Yeah, the Juju one. Yeah. So Coffee invited me. Yeah. But like I was a radio broadcast at the time, so I'm like, yeah. fuck, I'm not gonna be in a video. Why the fuck would I be in a video? Yeah. <laughs> Sakes, who the fuck is Sakes? What is the song? It's not even gonna be big. So I chill behind the scenes. We are so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have been in the video. Yeah, yeah, so that today. Yeah, it was a nice that was a nice video. So I think after that particular success, and then it was like, yo man, you know, let's uh, I think the idea was was to do like a Zex band when you meet black coffee, you know, something like that. Mm. But then we ended up like working on 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 Love Light, you know. It's like Love Light performed by Zex. So that's what we did. Are you guys still working together like uh, No 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 for real? No we're not no we haven't been working together for a while now. But maybe it will happen one day, I don't know. Yeah yeah did yeah. something happen, a dispute or you guys uh, no, I mean, I think, Just, yeah, I, I, no, really nothing happened from my side. Uh, yeah. Dude, when you, when you come up with music, like, um, is it from Amatlozi and then you don't, it takes over you and you don't know what's happening or because you studied it, you know that, okay, cool, this is going to work. Because when I listen to that Dark U Tando song, you're not singing, bro. It sounds like you're talking about stuff that a normal guy would say too. Yeah. To, yeah. to, 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 to a lady. I yeah, I think, I think it's a little bit of everything, you know. Mm. And that's the funniest thing. Shit, I think in my, in my phone, I, I have it. When I recorded that song, Yagatak wrote it. And Doug was patient with me. Eh? He gave me that song, I think, before lockdown. Eh? Wow. And I think this one time, Mang Chai Lute he had given up. It's like, yo, Zex doesn't want to do a collaboration yeah, yeah, yeah. with me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and I, I, and I remember saying to him, because he was like, okay, I'm releasing my album. And then, and then he posted that his album is going to come out on the end of. I think end of September mm. or, or August, something like that. I was like, Ducky, your album is not going to be out without that particular song. Because I felt bad. Yeah. It's like, you, you're you going to have to wait for me. Yeah. I'm going to make it worth a while. Yeah. You're just going to have to wait for me. It's yeah. like, then he pushed it for a month so that they accommodate me. And then, and then, and then, and then, and so I recorded that song. In the COVID? I don't know, man. I was just not feeling well. Mm. I, I recorded that song, a uh, sick. Oh, and wow. I recorded it like, uh, and I as I recorded myself recording it, <laughs> 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 trying to show him, no, Takiman, it's not too good. Yeah, know? and he was like, Yo, I feel bad now, good. I've been pushing, you know. Yeah, I, I, I you know, I, I think that song is something that are, that people are really complaining about now, man. Like, it's it's the stuff that people are like going through. Oh, like, yes, yes. Ah, you know the song, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're talking, funuta, bro. yeah, I'm not funu tan, you know. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, cause they are my cheater, Joe. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me ask you last song. For me, this is, I think, yeah. probably the best house music to come out of this country in terms of like lyrics, compo composition, composition, instruments, everything. Like, I don't know if you guys thought about this or it was just one of those things where you did the track, 
But for me, I think it's probably the best to come out of the country. Yeah. Clap your hands. I, I produce Clap Your Hands. I wrote it, I produce it on my own. I have no collaborator in Clap Your Hands. I did it like on my own. How does that come about? I was at the airport and the flight was delayed for three hours, you know. I would not mention a brand because mm. I don't want you to people to think what to my brand in yeah, the podcast. Yeah. yeah, so so um, it was for three hours I was I, I was there. Then I opened my laptop yeah. and I was like, let me pro, pro I programmed the song. Yeah. Program on my instrument. Actually I programmed everything about that song. Uh, airport or our tambo. Wow. And then I got to Deben and then I had clap your hands in my head. And I got into my studio in Deben, and then I recorded Clap Your Hands, you know? I asked another lady who, who went to help me with the, my, my vocals of Clap Your Hands, and then it was just Clap Your Hands, and that's it. Then I came to Joburg, then I wrote I Feel Like Dent, like the the, 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 mm. the, the the whole process. I think maybe there was something that that, 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 that had this thing of like, this song might be a big song. Because when I, rec when I was writing that song, I opened my laptop and then I pressed record. Yes. You know, for that pr process, but the laptop here, me all I but it would have been, it would have been, I would have had like content of mm. like the process, of, and people would see, like the process of writing that song, mm. how 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 much it took for me to write that song, and then I invited a friend of mine, Colin Sitole, whom we went to school with, and at that time I think he had a, he had a, a bride at his place, and mm. was like, okay, I'm gonna come in. He came in, because I wanted it to, I wanted it to have that gospelish you know mm. uh, feel but i did not want him to be gospel because yes. i remember saying to him i want a cccpp whiteness kind of feel hmm. you know like i don't want to say it has to be a spiritual song you know hey, the spiritual. You know, like, hey, yeah, yeah, it has yeah. to have that spiritual thing you know so even the organ was programmed on, yeah. on the laptop because it sounds very live that yeah. organ line. When, do, when do you know it's, the clef's an, gonna it's, come? A, it's a nano <laughs> you know that nano ah it's okay, there. Yeah, yeah. when do you know the claps need to come in now that because that is signature. Yeah, as soon as you hear yeah, that, I think, yeah, yeah, I, I think I built it with that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think the it was kick, the percussion, boom, boom, boom. the way how, it's, how it yeah. starts, it's how I programmed it. Uh, you know, program the, the rhythm section yeah. first, program the, the, program the, cla the clap, mm. then program the, the keys, dun, 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 dun. Then had that. Then I had that. Yeah. I mean, the <laughs> boom, the boom. <laughs> now, that song. I mean, it was huge. And I remember 2018. There was a Nigerian guy who yeah. stole the song. Yeah, they stole you the literally song. Literally, child. Literally, the <laughs> approach yourself. <laughs> yeah. Who was so it? Will I am? Three more. No, three more. Yeah. <laughs> Three he went to bigger meat. He called the Big, song bigger meat. Yeah, he called it bigger meat. And he produced like he says, "Yeah, I know the song I produce." <laughs> what? <laughs> that was, motherfucker. Was, was, <laughs> <laughs> was that settled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My publisher, man. They paid. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, they don't. They don't own any of those things. Yeah. They don't own. Yeah, them. and the sign to so Davido. Yeah, they are, they are. They, that song. That song is even when it's on rotation. The, the man is coming home. Nice. So it, the song is working for me. All right. Yeah. So 2020. Now, um, I saw. Okay, Zix, legend, clap hands, what, what, what. Tune into lockdown house party. Yeah. And now DJing and performing at the same time. I'm like, yeah. wow. That live electronics. So this is yeah. This is set. the new the re. The the yeah. This yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it got to a point for me, like as I said earlier on, Noguti, about this thing of always trying to create a blueprint. It's 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 a gift and a curse mm. because you, you get into the space you don't know. But the, the gift is that mm. you are the one creating it. Mm. You know, so nobody would be like, you know, but this the, this you, you can't do it like this, like how do you know? Mm. You know, that's yeah. the nicest part. But the, the flip side is that you ju now you don't know, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. you know, because but that's where the beauty is. Yeah, so be, before because DJs could do it, you know, bongs, tira, mm. everybody could do it. Could be, could be, uh, could it's sing mm. and go behind the decks mm. and it would be cool. Mm. So it would be the first time an artist going going to back to a my deck, mm. and what are people going to say? Mm. You know, so. But now at the same time, and what I'm I'm going to say here, I always tell my team, like, I know it may be in my sound a bit controversial, but it's the truth. In South Africa, we don't have DJs. Hmm. Ooh, ouch. You know what I mean? Like, we really don't have. We have producers who can DJ. There are few DJs in South Africa. So, so black coffee DJ. what does it take in your 
He's Definition. a he's a producer first. Then oh, he's a DJ. Oh yes. So, what's so what comes DJ? first is the producer. Come now, now exactly. So what comes is the producer. Exactly. So now if you are a producer at heart and then you are a DJ, you'll never play somebody else's song. Because mm. you want to play your own song. You know what I mean? So yeah. then it, what happens in South Africa is that artists who, who are putting music out, their music not get, doesn't get played. Oh, yeah. Because people who are calling themselves DJs in South Africa aren't really DJs. DJs. Mm. They are producers first. And, they're playing the and producers they produce. wants to hear the music. DJ wants to hear everybody's music. Wow, but shit. a producer wants to hear only his music. So what are you? You know what I mean? You know? So I'm a musician. But I was like, okay, you you don't have to you 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 don't have to fight a system. Work with regards to this particular system. Work with it because the this DJ business model is the biggest one. Mm. It's working, and and I studied the model. Mm. I looked at the model. I was yeah. like, okay, this is what they do. Cause you go out of a gig, you like yo 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 yo. We zuele ngo meta manzi. Yaga sol. Yeah, but I will, we shy those eggs. Then my name is mentioned in your song. Mm. So someone will come out, play, clap your hands. But that's what, yo, 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 we shy. We see those who we shy. And you're calling on my guys to say, let it clap your hands. Yo, 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 I will sort it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, this model works. for, for And then now it, 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 it actually it came into a point where, because in South Africa, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's tricky. That's a, like, because I understand the business of music so much, when you look at it and you don't have to be emotional, you just need to understand and be mm. like, okay. And I'm sharing this thing to someone who did not even look at it. I'm sharing it to them for free. What is something that took me a while to mm. even look at it? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, okay. Because so, Shimza, Shimza started as a DJ. You then know, he learned how to produce. Exactly. So he at that time, a DJ. A DJ. So mm. so that so so that maybe Shimza wouldn't find it hard to play other people's songs yeah. because to him first he's a DJ first before yeah, he's a producer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So you have you have producers who, who can who happen to be DJs and you have DJs first mm. who can now produce. DJ mm. Fresh is a DJ. Mm. He wouldn't mm. find it hard to play other people's music mm. because he's a DJ first, yeah. then being a producer. Mm. But a producer would find it hard to play other people's music. What do you think about because when you, when you have when you have a new song like Soul has a picker song or mm. or Dark and Zex they have a picker song called Utan. Mm. But when uh, 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 right now you have a new song that you're pushing, you're a DJ. Mm. You are a DJ now, but you happen to be a producer. Whose song are you gonna play? Your mm. own. You know that uh, Darkest song and Zex would make sh this no, I'm this house. I'm gonna play mine. Of course. Yeah. Of course. So this. So that. So, so so. So when you say in South Africa, we don't have. We don't have really DJ. We have producers who can DJ, and people are like, what are you saying? And mm. some someone might just. Oh, when you move to the latter, they clip it. Yeah, just this piece. Yeah. Basically, I use and you explain. Yeah. Basically, I was explaining. Put in. But that's exactly how I'm explaining now. Now, now, now. What happens is, now you have also. So so you have also DJs. So 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 DJs who and DJs are compilers, right? Mm. Mm. So DJs are compilers at radio stations, mm. and DJs have shows mm. at radio stations. Mm. Not artists. Artists don't have a radio show. Mm. Artists are not are not compiling, mm. you know. Mm. Um, but DJs are compilers. DJs have radio shows. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. drive time show, um, and and breakfast shows. Are DJs. DJs. Mm. You know, like you go to Metro FM. More flavor is a DJ. Mm. Spectacular names are DJs. Mm. You know, you go to to 94.5, fresh, 94.7, yeah, 947. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, a, a fresh is there, is doing a, a breakfast show. Mm. You know, you, when you 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 go More you FM. go to most you more more yeah you go to all most breakfast shows. Mm. DJs are there. Mm. You know, mm. and then compilers of every radio stations are DJs. Mm. You know what I mean, right? Mm. So now you go to where you go to a gig, right? These DJs go to gigs, so 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 Saul is a DJ and he compiles for a particular radio stations, right? Mm. And then he goes to a certain gig, and when he gets to that particular gig, and then and then and then you there you are playing, right? Mm. You are also a DJ, a producer DJ, and mm. then you play your song, and then Saul sees how people react, are react. and mm. then he gets to the stations like, yo, that song that by who mm. I think we need to playlist it, mm. you know? Influence. And, 
that particular influence. So now television says to you, oh, we're not playing this music video because it's not playing on radio. Then radio says, I'm not playing this music because it's not, it's not in the streets. Mm. Right? Mm. So now your song is nowhere as an artist. So now, no wonder a lot of artists in South Africa are struggling because artists are not supported by DJs. DJs are playing their own music instead of play, playing artist music. And we've so, so now, so now, to so someone like myself, now we are forced, now we are compelled to be like, mm. do I want to be muted? Mm. Or do you want to do something about me? You know what I mean? Like, okay, cool, fine. I'm going to do something about this. That, hence why it's the result, why you saw me. Now you see me where at lockdown, lockdown. Right. You see me at and lockdown. You it. Now I'm doing all, now I'm, and playing other artists, now music. I'm like, yo, I know you've got something. So I'm going to play yeah. your music as well. So now I'm using my platform, you know, to at least address other artists', uh, other artists issues because our music is the, as artists are not being played. No wonder you don't see a lot of artists now, house artists, on on posters, except mm. Zakes, because Zakes now does too, mm. does both. Mm. You know what I mean? So then, you, then people are gonna come and say, who and who fell off? No, who and who did not fall off? Who and who is, is muted? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, so that's 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 what is happening right now. You know. So, so, so then DJs shouldn't complain when everybody now is a DJ, ah. because they are bringing, they are the one who are doing that. Yeah, you know, they shouldn't even, complain. Yeah, you even know what I mean. Like, influencers are DJs now, it's exactly easy money. because like they should not complain when everybody now wants to be a DJ. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like because people who are artists who are feeding, who are who are who are. Uh, uh, have their songs available for them to be DJed and being enjoyed are not getting it mm. because producers are playing their music as DJs. What do you think about Ama Piano? Like for me, music, it, love, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I love Ama Piano. Isn't it weird? It, it doesn't make musical sense, but it's so good. No, man, it makes musical sense. You have chords there. Mm. You have chords there, man. You have, you have keys, you have progressions, you have nice bass lines, you have people writing, you have harmonies, you have, gig, you have gimmicks, you have stuff that you can laugh, laugh about. I mean, it's, it's so colorful, man. I love my piano. I'm a fan of my piano. The stuff of, of like, I think, I think the soulful of my piano, the streets of my piano, there's different type of my piano. I love what, 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 what you know, my, my, my police and them, what they're doing there. Yeah. Also love what, uh, what Amos is doing, you know. I, I love what, what, uh, what, what teaches somebody doing, you know, Jesse Disciple, all these guys, like, I, I love them, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, I love my piano. And how is uh, the global scene perceiving us? Because you gig globally now. Yeah, I think I think you know we still we still like background music. Mm. You know how much we love salsa and and bossa nova when you go to yes yes, yes. yeah we we listen to that music but you know mm. if I go she stays did I bump mm. it you know that song mm. but you you would not think that you have to book this guy. <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> it doesn't strike you as now as a commercial value. Yeah. So you have this music, it's there, it's playing, it's nice, but it's, it's cute. Oh. We're still cute. We're still cute. Yeah, we're still cute. But Nigerians are, have, have changed that a little bit. But I think here in South Africa, we are still cute. What are Nigerians doing that we're not doing? Um, they just don't want, they don't want to sound like Americans. Okay. They, 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 they sound like themselves. They are themselves. You know, like, they are not trying to be... They're not trying to be niggers mm. because they're not niggers. Mm. They, 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 are, they, are <laughs> <laughs> they are themselves, man. And that is it. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. So you buy something that is that is that sounds amazing and that is foreign to you that you're gonna learn. Yeah. You know, like why 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 would you why would you buy something that you know you 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 you, you, you. mean because because it's the very same thing. It's like when you when you're in America, you sound like Americans. They're like, but we have the real one. Why would I pack the fake? Because I have the real one. Yeah, let me rather have the real one. Jacob, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So yeah. so I think I think they are they are themselves, man. They yeah. are themselves, and those guys they want that sound. They want that sound as it is, and those guys don't conform. Yeah, they really don't conform, and and then that's that that's that's I think that's one thing that we need to learn from from Nigerians. We just need to be, be you know, we be honest about 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 us. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about your love life. 
Um, not a lot, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, not a lot because I, I, don't, I, I, I never want to make my relationship a mm, career. Mm. And then suddenly now I come and complain to me like, can't you just leave us alone? We are, I'm like, no, but you invited people in your relationship. Now why do you want them to leave? Why, why would you want people to leave you alone? Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you, if you don't want people to talk about you, don't talk about your, don't talk about your relationship. Yeah, but your relationship. So I'll give you is... one, <laughs> one question, yeah. and that's it. Make it good, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why do you like Nandi? What do you love about her? Is there anything not to love about my wife? Hey, like, bro! <laughs> like, like, uh, like, Joe. Sh- I mean, that woman is is everything, man. Like, I I wish people knew how how many fights and how much money that woman has lost, you know, in trying to push for that natural hair. Hmm. Mm. You know, mm. I, 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 and it's stuff that she never wants to talk about. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, you know, my wife, and also just for 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 Africans, like to fight for Africans. I mean, this one time she wrote a tweet, um, and she was just about to get this one endorsement, and it was an international. It wasn't like a South African South African brand. It was an international brand, and and the deal was negotiated in dollars in the state. And they wanted her to, and I think she tweeted about uh, in, the injustices that are happening in America. And and they, they and they they said she must uh, she must delete that tweet. Wow. She she refused. On she was like, platform. yeah, she was like, but but that's 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 how I feel. Mm. Like she refused. Mm. Mm. And 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 she didn't get that uh, that endorsement. And it was such a a lot of money. Mm. And I was like, delete this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, and, and, and to say that woman not, not being swayed by money. Mm. Or uh, she will do something I for free. Mm. You know? Mm. I yenza for free. She can go elsewhere. Ayo Ayo being she can go somewhere Ayo motivator for free. Ayegi kiki that is supposed to pay her because it does not represent what she feels it represents. Mm. So she's never in any platform. Anga You know. And that's and rare, that's man. one thing. Yeah. So, well, yeah. But but also maybe because of it background. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know who say like me. I show you she got. Yeah, I will say it. Hey, like I'm better. I mean, I'm show and I'm better. Yeah, like Like it's two. We are two different yeah. people. You know. Yeah. So so. I, but but I I I, I really know. I really wish you would the people would know how much that woman. Uh, have made them sacrifices when when it comes to the African, the African culture and just mm. the over, over authentic and as one can be. I mean that's why even in my household you have you have Shara, you have Nefertiti. It's always a story of just African supremacy. Mm. You know, like you know, African being like the supreme people. You know, to her, it, that's the narrative. You know, if if something isn't pushing Africans and isn't pushing girls forward, she's not part of it. No matter how much you're gonna pay her. Is she good in bed? Um, <laughs> I, said, I, said, I, said, I said I said I said one question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's the one you should have asked. <laughs> 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 What's your